When we went to 48 volts, it opened up a lot of opportunities to electrify the HVAC system so we're no longer pulling that parasitic off of the engine. We, we can now do it in a more economical way as far as energy is concerned. Uh, Emerson uh, had yes. a lot to do, uh, or you know, extending some of the ideas that you came up with. Yes. Uh, we need to know a little bit more about that. Um, hey, Joe, you want to come in here? Um, I'm, I'm bringing in Joe uh, Summers, and, and he's actually from, from Emerson, right? And um, so, you want to tell us a little bit about the electrification of the HVAC system that I think is, is all part of this, right? Well, sure. As, as Dean mentioned earlier on, uh, it's a 48 volt system, so. Uh, Emerson has specialized in power electronics uh, for years and uh, took uh, our knowledge of power electronics, we made a 48 volt uh, version of that. And uh, so we took the two systems that you would typically see in this type of an application, uh, where you would have a, an air, con air conditioning compressor underneath the hood, as well as the auxiliary power unit that also has an air conditioner in it. And we combined both those systems into one uh, compressor driven system. So on top of making it a 48 volt electric system. So you get the benefit of it being electrified, you get the benefit of getting rid of the extra system entirely, uh, and that ha getting rid of that gets rid of a lot of inefficiencies such as like long line sets for the refrigeration system. Okay, yep. So, th so this technology is very important, not only in the efficiency of the system, but if you keep in mind the fact that, that vehicles uh, today, including this one, are exercising stop-start uh, more and more frequently. And what happens when the combustion engine stops, typically, is you lose that comp compressor. And often the engine will have to restart itself just to support the HVAC and the comfort in the, in the vehicle. That, those issues go away. And uh, it's just another sort of advantage to electrifying the HVAC system on a commercial vehicle. I guess. Right, and I just want to uh, mention one more thing and really ask you a question. Uh, because it's a stop start vehicle, I think that we see more and more AGM technology in the batteries today. Uh, so, is that a, a big issue with Navistar to be sure you have that kind of technology to make stop start work? So, actually, we, we do it a slightly different. We actually are stop starting with a supercap. Ah. So supercaps are, are great in that they um, release energy very quickly. We have a very large engine, a 13 liter engine, that the faster that we can spin it, releasing that energy into that uh, starter motor, the, the faster it'll restart and the customer can continue driving. They're also beneficial in the fact that we can actually bring energy back into them very quickly. So if you're in a stop and go type of scenario, uh, the Supercap is, is very good at regenerating itself to, to support the next start, right? Yeah. Um, where AGMs come in is in our sleeper system, uh, supporting the electric HVAC uh, system um, in, in, in having that uh, deep discharge capability and that high energy capacity uh, to get the eight hours worth of hotel in that, that we're looking for. Right. All right. Tons and tons of stuff. Do you have anything more you want to add, Joe? Well, yeah. I, uh, you touched on a few things. Uh, this system in particular has about three times the uh, cooling capacity of a, a normal setup that you would find in an APU. So the electrified versions of this that you'll find out there today, this has 3x the performance of those systems in terms of initial cooling. So when you get those other systems in, when driver retention is so important, right, this system really comes into play there as well. Uh, but um, yeah, so driver comfort, higher efficiency. Okay. And then uh, for uh, more information on Emerson, we'll, we'll have a website that we can uh, put yeah, down there. Yeah, of course, there it's just emerson.com. Okay, and that'll be down in the video description uh, as well. All right, so we covered a ton of stuff, but hey, that's it today, right? We have so much technology uh, that moves so fast, but you, you need to check this stuff out and stay up to date, and you are going to be so glad that you did.